assistant chief Bischoff was a resident of Menifee. Before that, he was a battalion chief here locally for three years. He's very well known and admired in these parts. And as you can imagine, tonight, hearts are heavy. In the Menifee neighborhood that Cal Fire Assistant Chief Joshua Bischoff called home, the flag flew at half staff in memory of a local fallen hero. For fellow helicopter pilots like Tim Lynn, who served three decades as a police helicopter instructor, the news that two Cal Fire firefighters had perished along with their pilot, the response was direct. They're heroes. They train very hard, they train a lot, and they're very good at what they do. And their main job is to get in there, get the fire out, and protect lives and property. And they put themselves at great risk to do that. Uh, flying a helicopter low and slow over a very hot and windy fire takes a very high skill and a high nerve. Little more than 24 hours after that tragic accident in which two helicopters collided over a brush fire in Cabazon, few answers provided as to what could have gone so terribly wrong. Retired chopper pilot Lynn said this helicopter detail is an elite unit where only the most excellent qualify. They start from the bottom. They're down there swinging axe and picks and, and squirting uh, red wet stuff on the red stuff, being a fireman. And then they work their way up. And then only the best are brought into the aviation unit. It's a very rigorous uh, uh, job. It's a, it's a hard job to do. It's a lot of training, a lot of recurrent training uh, that they go through. It's not a one and done. You're, every year you're being retrained. Experts say that it could take years until they figure out the exact cause of this tragic accident. And also for people who live in this area, in this community, it'll take a very long time to get over this loss. In Menifee, Laura Diaz reporting live. Now back to the studio, Marla and Christine. Our thoughts and prayers with all of those families, Laura. Thank you.